A church in Heartland is opening its doors to kids in the LGBTQ plus community. A parent and a pastor teamed up to create the space and with some help from the community, it's become a place where everyone feels accepted. Inside the first congregational church in Heartland, we call this safe house, is a room that's become a hot spot for some high schoolers. They come here and they chat and they talk and they play. Darcy Sobchak is a parent who wanted LGBTQ teens to meet. I just want them to be happy and feel like they can be themselves. It's Jim Langrader. It takes everything in me not to cry. A pastor who wanted to help. It's important for me to make sure people feel that the church is a safe and welcoming place for everyone. He was just like, well, I have the space. And I was like, well, I have all the kids. The room took some renovation. It literally was like almost wall to wall stuff. But the kids pitched in to help, decorating and painting. You can see some of the paint marks on the, <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> now, a few nights a week, <laughs> laughter fills the church as they play human hungry, hungry hippos hold potlucks, and play video games. We found it, we were like, this is what we need to do. Kat Cummings is one of the teens who's been here from the start. 320 people have already signed this petition. And they spoke out last summer against an Arrowhead High School policy banning safe space signage. I'm very passionate about like who I am and I feel like you should be who you are. Safe House has given kids a place to do that. Kat's mom, Jill. And I have seen such huge growth and such an increase in cat self-confidence just having this place. I have a video of you. And that's She's what Sobchak wants to see. And I just looked over my shoulder because I just heard that this large burst of laughter and I just got chills. And I was like, this is what it's supposed to be, you know. A safe house that feels like home. And just be able to laugh and cry and share their stories with each other and not be judged. It just becomes such a lovely space where everybody is just so excited. All right, she was talking about having those paint marks on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Community members donated the paint and some of the furniture. They've also raised $3,800 from Dang. a GoFundMe, so they're gonna host their own prom this month. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And human hungry, hungry hippo looks awesome. Okay, I had never <laughs> seen that before, and I thought, no. well, that looks like fun. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta try that. That's really good, really good stuff. And Giving you ideas. Yeah, totally. <laughs> what well, just a great place to have, let these kids be themselves yeah. and uh, feel safe. Good and vibes that's, that's all really around. Cool. Yeah. All right, and if you would like to nominate an everyday hero, please send